Morning, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters located here in East Central Florida on the world famous Mosquito Lagoon, about an hour east of Orlando in the Edgewater, Oak Hill, Titusville, Cocoa Beach, New Smyrna Beach area. And today what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to rig some soft plastic, some DOA uh, lures that I use uh, pretty much. Um, I use other baits. I'll use a live little crab about this size, a little bit bigger than this, you know. Um, and I'll show you in the following video, a couple of videos later, on how to rig a live crab and use. A lot of guys use big crab, big blue crab. Uh, they buy them, cut them into pieces. I like to use little ones. Um, you can't commercially buy these. So what I do is I actually go down and hand pick them. I catch them. I live here on the lagoon. Uh, pretty much immerse myself in this lifestyle, this line of work. So I'm able to get crabs about like that big. And, uh, you know, I'll show you in a later video on how to rig those for those of you who are interested in that. Or I use live mullet shrimp sometimes. But typically, if you're a fairly good angler and you can cast, um, and, you know, if you can get this to the fish, he will eat it. So it's not rocket science or anything. So basically what I do is some of these lures come pre-rigged. Like the shrimp right here, the DOA shrimp. This will come pre-rigged with a hook in it and all that good stuff, so you're going to just tie it on. Um, at times, I like to add a little bullet weight, whether it's in a, you know, a 32nd ounce, 8th ounce, quarter ounce, whatever. Typically, the small ones, uh, you know, just put it on first, then tie the lure onto there. Uh, it gives it a little bit extra weight to get there. Uh, a little bit of extra distance to get down, deeper water and all that. When I'm fishing shallow water, backcountry, you know, 12, 18. I catch 90% of my fish in probably 18 inches of water or less, you know, sight fish, and I'm pulling the boat around. I'll say, hey, John, we got two red fish 20 feet in front of us. One of them's kind of tailing down, the other one's looking away. You know, cast past them, you know, bring the lure into him, let it drop down to him, and if he's tailing, he'll pick it up and get it. Uh, this is this right rig right here is typically a rig that I like to use quite often. Um, it's weedless, it's weighted hook. Like I said, again, I will at times put the bullet weight on there first through the leader, then tie it to there. But I'll show you how to rig these. And what we'll do is um, any one of these works. Um, they sell different kinds of hooks. Uh, I like to use the ones with the springs on it that you screw into the body. This weight. Can slide up and down. It will go up and down anywhere. Uh, this is a DOA jig head on a cow. This body right here is a cow, C A L. Uh, it's designed for, you know, you throw it out there into school of fish, uh, deep water, four or five feet. It'll get down to them. Trout fishing along bars. Excellent, excellent lure. Ladyfish, jacks, all that good stuff. Uh, you know, obviously you can't throw this into shallow water. You could, it'll grab a lot of grass, at least out here on the Mosquito Lagoon. Um, this is another good setup to use, just a little weighted hook. Um, the way this would be rigged is uh, you would take it, you know, it's already on the line. Let's say there's line on there. So what you're going to do is this, the, the uh, deep valley here in the cow is where the hook goes through the bottom, and it's going to pop out this little valley on the top, see if you can see that. The hook will rest up out of the top right there like this one did. You know, it just kind of pops through. You can barely feel the point right there. You know, if I sit there and stick it right there, it will uh, it will um, make it weedless virtually. Also, for the hook setup, it'll be an easy hookup fish. What you'll do with this one is we'll take it. You know, it's tied to the line. You're going to take it. You're going to put it through the head of the lure or the, the plastic. Come down. Oh, not quite a quarter inch. Maybe a quarter inch. Be real careful, slowly protrude it. Now this is the tricky part because that weighted head right there is pretty thick. Just kind of push it through, you know, work it through real easy like, you know, and then once it's through you can see it popping out right there. And Once it comes through just kind of pull it down and as you're pulling down on it, just kind of twist it a little bit there so you don't rip it. There we go. And there you go, you have it right there. Then like I said, this is going to go through the, the deep cave out the shallow valley on the top and there you go with that one rigged and like I said at times if you want a little bit of extra distance you can add the bullet weight to it or you could add it without it it makes it semi weedless um, it's pretty weedless actually like I said the 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 uh, it's barely sticking out of the top you can see it's stuck to my finger right there so this is one of my favorites right here and you can get these at Bass Pro Shops Gander Mountain 
Uh, some Walmarts carry them. Uh, depends on where you're at, tackle stores and whatnot. Uh, owner makes a good one. Um, uh, I use Owner quite often. Uh, they're, they're, you know, you can find these hooks anywhere. Just buy a good quality hook. Uh, I've even seen them in hardware stores and handy ways and 7-Elevens. You know, it depends on location. <laughs> Uh, the way this is going to be rigged is, and I'm going to do this, I'll show you how to rig it onto this little cow right here, is what you're going to do is you're going to take the, the lure, you're going to take the spring end, and you're going to screw it into the top. Just real easy, just take your time, screw it into there, make sure it's even, it goes right down the center of the body of the, the plastic. Alright, I'll make sure that it's rigged right. And like I said, this end is going to go through the bottom of the valley, the deeper valley right there. So we'll like a little bit more turn. There we go. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing we just did. That's gonna go up into there and I can I put my finger on there and I can feel it poking through a little bit. So then if I give it enough slack, you can see how I'm pushing it forward, kind of crinkling it a little bit. Then but when it goes through, you can see it popped out right there. It pretty much is in there and rigged ready to go. Now what I'll do with this lure is I've got my line here and uh, um, oh and you can buy let me show you you can buy just the hook with the weight on it and they sell little springs that you can add to the top of your eyelet screw that in there then that can screw into the top of the lure too. You know that little spring was an add-on that you can buy. Oh, they're 99 cents for three of them, or whatever. I think these hooks are three, four dollars for three of them. So what I'm going to do here is I got my line in my hand right here. I'm going to take my bullet weight. I like. I'm going to use a small one for this one. This is just a 15-pound fluorocarbon leader. I'm going to put it through there. Now that we have the lures rigged, I'm going to tie one on here. So now what I'll do is I'm going to make a canoe man loop knot which uh, you can watch the video on my page on how to tie a, on this knot. It's really easy to do. I use it on pretty much 99% of the lures. You're going to make a loop. You're going to make a loop. You're going to put that loop through the one you just, the first one you made. Just pull down a little bit. And we're going to grab the lure right here. You're going to put it through the eyelet. You're going to put this line through that top loop you just pushed through the bottom one and you're just going to pull on it and the tag end will point down if I can get in there to show you that, sorry got the camera on a tripod here and you can see the tag end points down so it won't grab weight or grab weeds or anything and there you have it uh, you can trim some of that tag end off if need be, you know, a little bit tiny piece right there there you go, and that is rigged this is just a uh, little rig up that uh, DOA sells and uh, just adds a little bit of flair to it and all that good stuff. It's not a, a weighted hook or anything, but if you tie this on, you can just add the bullet weight to the line. You've got a little bit of extra weight there. So, get these out of the way here. <clears throat> and the way you would, this is designed for sight fish. And I use this lure to throw a tail in redfish and whatnot. It just makes it easier to weed. This gets down to them as they're feeding. Uh, the jig heads for you know a little bit deeper water. The crabs are designed. I use this lure a lot, the crab one for redfish and the black drum. And same with the shrimp. So um, all of these rigs, these setups can be used for uh, you know fishing for redfish, trout, black drum, snook, tarpon, uh, so on and so forth. This is just typically what I use or we use. Uh, uh, my particular, you know, not everybody uses this exact brand on the Mosquito Lagoon flats fishing. Um, a lot of these rigs like this have been around for years and years, uh, hence the bass fishing rubber worm. You know, you just switch out that bait and put on a rubber worm. There you have a, uh, a weedless rig there. Um, you know, the paddle tails here uh, are used. Um, you know, you could probably throw this lure right here at bass bluegill crappie. <coughs> it imitates a, <coughs> excuse me, imitates a, um, you know, a minnow or shad or something so the key with fishing anywhere is presentation I mean you could just take a pencil and put it on there and if it looks like something they'll eat they'll eat it so that's the key uh, all these lures work 
Um, you can find them at any pretty pretty much any uh, sport shopping place, Bass Pro Shops, Gander Mountain, Walmart. <clears throat> you can even call DOA Direct if you want to get this particular brand. Go to their website and get them. I just use them because they work for me. And uh, so it goes back to the saying, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So <laughs> why change, right? Um, that's about it. So if, if any of you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me or email me or shoot me a message here, and I'd be happy to help you answer them. Again, this is Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters and Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and I want everybody to have a great day. Thank you.